In this lecture, we will learn about overriding base class functions. So this is one very important feature of C++ in which even when you are deriving from a base class, but if you want, want that some function perform something better or something different from your base class, then you can override that base class function. So when a derived class creates a function, with the same return type and signature as the member function in the base class but with a new implementation okay so your signature should be the same but your implementation should be different then it is said to be overriding the base class function okay so that it's not using the same implementation as the base class but it overrides it and writes its own implementation so the thing is and then when you make an object of the derived class and you call the method the function okay which was overridden in the base by the derived class so the derived class function will be called okay so this is important because let's say you are making an animal classes there okay so there is an animal class okay which has a function speak okay so in this I will just say see out that okay the animal speaks okay but when we make a dog class so if you then print out that okay animal speaks it would be better if I write dog box okay because I now know that dog box if I make a cat class I know that okay a cat muse so in speak we should do print that okay a cat muse okay so this is there so it will override your base class function now what is important so the signature of the function is important for the overriding a function so when you override a function its signature must agree with the signature of the function in your base class okay otherwise they will be considered as two different functions the signature is the function prototype and it is other than the return type so what it means that is the name of the function okay the parameter list okay the number of parameters their types and the keyword const if it is used they all should be the same the return type might differ okay so return type might differ so void speak if this is in the base class then you can have int speak this is also fine because the function name is same argument number and type are same only thing that is different is your return type and this is fine for C++. So we now know what is function overriding. Let's try to see one example. Okay. So let's try to see. So we will see one example. So our example is this one. So we will again see how it is used okay so we have here now what is there is one animal class okay so we have animal class it has two attributes age okay member age and member weight which we just initialize to zero we have a destructor set and get methods for the age and weight now what we do the two important things are void speak there is a function speak where we say that for an animal for the base class it's animal speaks and don't you know that move animal moves okay this is fine now what happens is the class dog inherits the animal class publicly it's public inheritance and now dog has a constructor where okay so what happens is it has more one more attribute breed which is initialized there is a destructor but now what happens this is something the overriding of speak function so we have the same function name no argument so that is fine and same return type now but i'm writing that dog barks loudly okay so dog barks and so that is the difference and for move dogs moves very fast animals move dogs move very fast so these are there and so what happens now in the main function i make animal a and dog d two objects are there one is of type animal another one is of type dog 
so i do animal dot move and animal dot speak they will call the base class function because they are base class objects now if i do dog dot move and dog dot speak this will say that dog moves very fast and dog box okay so these are the things i expect i will build this code now let's try to see the result animal move okay for this a dot move function animal speak don't you know this is again the base class if you remember d dot move dog moves very fast so this is overriding the base class method now it's not saying that animals move dog barks loudly this is also a base class function so this is what is function overriding and this is there so that you can implement something different of one function from your base class so i hope you understand thanks a lot